Yo, what's up, boy? It's Alex GWT. Hopefully, you guys are all good. Now, obviously, man has been scoping on the YouTubes, and I've noticed that Joe, the prick, has had a bit of training from the one and only Anthony Joshua. So I thought I would get a trainer of my own, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'm hey, very what's excited. What's going on? Okay, so the GWT. How you doing, JJ, my man? Alright. Big fan of you and all the uh, side men. How did you get in my house? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, mate. That's by the by. Anyway, I'm your new boxing coach. You're the guy that's got a boxing record of 22 and 0. Yes, I'm 22 and I've had zero fights. It's not hard to understand, mate. You have any boxing experience? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, me and Tyson Fury often hit the bag together. In, in the gym? No, right? it's. It's mainly nightclub toilets, to be fair. Okay, now if you're gonna win this boxing match, a few things are gonna have to change. No more alcohol, no more sex, no more junk food, and no more making music. How's making music going to affect my boxing? Oh, it doesn't. That was just a message from your label. <laughs> now let's break down your opponent. Joe's strengths. Strength. Now what are his weaknesses? Uh, his stamina. Good, yeah. Uh, dodgy knees. Mm. Jamie Carragher. Mm, true. Uh, 16 year old fangirls. True, yeah, and they confirm the stamina issue. Mm. Now, what about you? What are your strengths? Uh, I guess my size. Yeah, you're not punching above your weight for once. Sick. Um, my aggression. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my rapping. Okay, but uh, let's finish with strengths first. <laughs> there's that aggression. Okay, now there's three places you can hurt your opponent. The head, the body, and... The balls? Yes, but legally no. Uh, ears? No, calm down, Mike Tyson. The, the arse? No, you don't literally beat your opponent in the ring. Well then, I don't know. <sighs> it's mentally. Here we go. Come on, step forward, I'll show you how it's done. So what you do is, you go head, body, and then hit him with a... February 3rd is the day you'll get knocked out by Joe. And from there, your life will no longer have any meaning. Your bloody unconscious face will be a meme for the rest of your life. Your YouTube channel, music career and acting career will all cease to exist. You'll be a laughing stop to the rest of the world. Whilst you're losing the world to live, you'll be laughing at your demise. And then step back with your guard up. Now this would be a tough fight. You're going to have to defend yourself more than PewDiePie after one of his streams. Like, like this? That's it, yeah. Keep your hands up and everything will be okay. Uh, just imagine Joe's an American police officer. Stop resisting, you piece of shit! I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Charlie Bravo, yeah, we're gonna need backup, he's a real piece of work. Actually, just get the SWAT team. Boxing's a tricky sport, you know, timing is everything. You need a lot of patience. Well, I mean, I've, I've got 19 years, we're having sex. <laughs> I'm 22 and 0, mate. Are you talking about the boxing? That's not important. Anyway, what's a lethal combination? Henri and Burkamp. Yeah. Harry and Drugs. Uh, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Fantastic. And I was thinking more, you know, jab and uppercut. All right? Start off with a one-two for now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give me the jab. Give me a right. Now give me your money. Wait, what? Give me your fucking money. How do you keep doing this? <laughs> Well, it was a very slow start at the beginning, but uh, you know what, Steven? I've learned a lot from you, man. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Cool. Uh, yeah, thank you for improving my uh, punching, you know. <laughs> cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. Can't wait for the fight. Joe, you're finished. And yeah, see you in a bit. Peace. When they treat you like a motherfucking crazy.